right, everybody, big news, Blender has caustics. Uh, not the main full release, but there is a branch available for download now that will let you experiment and uh, maybe even redo some of your old renders with more realistic lighting. So, first thing first. Um, right now I have caustics enabled. Go right here and watch this line down here. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go into my light and I'm gonna disable the caustic. Now, as you can see, we now have a full even shadow here. Um, the spot where there is no hot sauce and it's simply glass is obstructing it just as much as the solid part where it's covered in sauce or has the label. Uh, down here, you also see a very sharp edge caused by the glass. Now we turn caustics back on and that gets a lot softer. You can even see a little bit of a brighter tone of the shadow here where it's only being cast through the light. The shadow itself here much more accurately simulates the way that light would refract and reflect through glass or any transparent object really. Uh, this works with any color of light and um, any type of transparent object. All right, so let's get the experimental branch downloaded and I'll show you exactly how to utilize these new features. All right, so you're gonna wanna go to blender.org, uh, link in the description, and um, rather than downloading here, rather than going down to download Blender Experimental, um, the version you want isn't quite here. So go to Patch, and the one you want here is the D13533. This is the version of Blender 3.1 that will have the new caustic functionality. It's still very much experimental, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if you crashed a whole bunch. All right, so once it's downloaded, you're going to want to extract it somewhere. Um, and you're not going to need to install this version of Blender because it's not a full release of Blender. So you can just run it right out of the EXE. Just make sure that you extract it first somewhere or else it's not going to work. So we open up Blender. 3.1 Alpha looks very similar to Blender um, 3.0. Looks the same as the 3.1 uh, 3.1 alpha that uh, you can find on the main page uh, that's the main branch of the alpha this is a different branch so first thing first I'm gonna take my cube raise it all right throw in a plane make it larger uh, we're gonna go in here and uh, first thing first you have to enable cycles I like running on my GPU because I have a 1080 Ooh. I'm sorry I like running on my GPU because I have a 3080 um, from there, you're going to want to go into your property, your object properties, and under shading, there is this new option. There's two actually um, caustic caster and caustic receiver. So, this here is going to be our caustic caster. So, that's what the light's going to pass through. And this plane here is going to be our caustic receiver. Um, from there, we're going to click on the light. And instead of checking one of these boxes, we're going to go over to this little light bulb. And from here, all we have to do is click Caustic Light. Now, I wouldn't do any of this in rendered mode, and I wouldn't even switch to rendered mode until all of this is set up. So we click here on rendered mode, and as you can see, nothing's changed. This is because we don't have transparency. So I'm going to go here to transmission, just turn it all the way up. Um, right away, you're going to see something that you don't normally see when you shine light through anything. You're going to see an uneven shadow. Now obviously light will bounce and, and refill in light shadows, but what I mean is y you can see that there's still plenty of light making it all the way through this object in certain places. Now caustics accurately simulate the way that light refracts and reflects through anything, uh, depending on its transparency. Uh, this is going to really increase the realism and the quality of a lot of renders. Um, it's obviously not ready for full use. I wouldn't suggest making a project in here. Um, but if you have an older project, you you got glass in it, you got something, now that this functionality is possible, I, I wouldn't blame you. This should work with any mesh that has transparency. Uh, and I can't wait to see what you guys make with it. Once again, this version of Blender is very unstable. Um, it may crash at any point. Uh, as a matter of fact, right now, it won't let me quit. So that's um, fun. Here we go. 
All right, everybody, I'll have the links in the description below. If you want to help out the channel, throw me a like, throw me a subscribe, uh, maybe click that little, little old bell. I'll be back with more tutorials, and I'm um, working on a new bowling animation as well. So, I'll see you all soon.